I was flying this drone the other day and it started to do this. The very next day I was flying this drone and it started to do this. Now just by looking at the footage, you can tell that both drones were doing the same thing. At first, when this one started doing it, I thought that it was a problem with the motor, maybe the ESCs, maybe there was something wrong with the gyro. But as soon as it started happening with my other drone, I realized that something to do with how my transmitter is communicating with my receiver. So that's what we're gonna go over in this video. Since it happened in both quads, Something's up with my receiver. And in both quads, I'm using the R9M system. This is a pre-2019 module on the back here. Um, but one thing, one of the first things that I started to notice was the fact that the receiver, when I power it on, it's not making any noise from the actual module. So, one of the first things that I noticed when I first got this module is that it has a really loud hum. So the higher the wattage output, the louder this thing is. Now, it's not making any noise, but if I start playing with the antenna, you'll hear it. So that was kind of my first uh, hunch that something was going wrong with this module or the antenna. Now, when I store this transmitter, it just kind of goes in my backpack. I never really take this thing off and I think I'm going to now because I'm pretty sure this is what's causing it. Now, what makes me think that is because when I adjust this, you can hear the output and not hear the output. So, what I'm gonna do to test this, or to show you how I tested this, is I'm gonna plug my quad in, and I'm gonna arm it in acro mode. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to arm it, and then I'm gonna start playing with the antenna, and we're gonna see if the motors start to do weird shit. So when I start playing with this, the motors start to go kind of wonky. So that's kind of telling me that something's wrong with this antenna. And I'm assuming that is just the fact that I have never taken it off and I just kind of keep it on and that's that. Another thing that I can notice is when I do play with, this is an R9M, so this is long range. This should have a connection to these this receiver, no problem. This should be a hundred on the RSSI scale. But if I put my hand over the antenna and play with it a little bit, you'll actually see those bars go down. And it shouldn't do that. So just by playing with the antenna, it does that kind of stuff. So that tells me that this antenna needs to be replaced and it's not anything internal. This will happen with any quad that is bound to my R9M with this antenna. And it's happened with two of my drones and I don't want it to happen anymore. So I'm gonna order a new antenna and hopefully that'll fix it. All right, so here's the old antenna. Here's the new antenna. Um, this is a lot more firm on the new one than this one. This one has a lot of flex in it. So, got a new one, let's throw it on. See if we hear that hum, that consistent hum, and uh, see if just by going like this, I lose reception. All right, so we got that on there. And the first test I'm gonna do with the new antenna is I'm just gonna turn it on and see if I get that static coming out of the speaker. 
<clears throat> so I'll power it on. When I turn it on, it's going to try and pair with my long range uh, drone. So we'll see if we hear static coming out of here because it should be in one watt mode. Yep, that's exactly what it should sound like. So now if I go under the settings and I start changing this, that sound should go down when I put it on 500. So the lower the wattage uh, output, the quieter it gets. And that's how it should be. Perfect. So now another test that I would like to do real quick is before with the old antenna, I was able to go like this and the drone motors would start kind of flipping out. So I'm going to turn on the drone, I'm going to link it to this and uh, we'll see if the motors do anything when I just go like that. All right, so it's bound up. Now when I hit the arm switch, it should, the propellers or the motors should start spinning. Perfect. So now before I was able to get this and move it around and the motors would twitch, but it's not doing that. It's not losing reception over here. I'm moving the antenna around. It's not losing any bars. So that tells me that that antenna that I had was bad and the new one fixed it. So I'm probably not going to stick with this one just because I didn't have much luck with the other one. But uh, for now, this is a nice temporary fix, nice easy fix. In the end, it only cost me $10 to fix that. All right, so that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully this helped anyone that's having a motor twitch randomly when they're flying and they happen to have the R9 system. It could just be your antenna. Then again, it could also be your flight controller or motors or something else. But in my case, luckily it was just the antenna and it was a nice, easy fix. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, subscribe, like, leave a comment, whatever, dude. Thanks for watching.